we came to Dupi, Hare Krishna, good morning, and we are happy that we will get the darshan of Dupi Krishna. He is, it's a, one of my favorite uh, Krishna's darshans, even though he's in Dwaraka mood, but still he is so charming, so adorable that I'm very happy that we came here again. And yeah, I'm wearing this earphone and some people they ask why I'm using it all the time almost. And the answer is that uh, when I chant Japa, I have a Japa of my Guru Maharaj, so I'm chanting together with him. And besides uh, Japa, of course, I listen to some lectures, so it's very helpful. These modern devices these days are very helpful in developing bhakti. And uh, uh, because the most important thing is to remember about Krishna. And even though you cannot visit Vrindavan, sometimes it happens that we have d obstacles in visiting holy places or going even to the temple, seeing darshan, having darshan, but we can always remember about Krishna. And these uh, phones, headphones, these devices, they help us in uh, our practice if we wish to. And I would like to share one story with you which is connected with Udupi Krishna, is the story about Kanaka Das. Uh, he was a devotee, uh, he was coming from the low caste and uh, he was not allowed in the temple. He was not allowed to get darshan of the Lord, whom he loved a lot and his devotion. Uh, now we can recognize his devotion because there is an, even a, a murti of him and small temple for him in front of the uh, uh, temple, Udupi Krishna's temple. And I would like to share this story, how it happened that uh, Krishna, deity of Krishna, changed the rule of, mo of all the Indian temples where the sun, uh, sunrise and the face of the deity, uh, the face of the deity looks at the sunrise. Uh, but here Krishna sh uh, turned 180 degrees to give the darshan to his devotee who, who was not allowed to the temple, but he was so much devoted that he was standing behind the temple and was singing his bhajans and songs glorifying the Lord. Uh, so he, Krishna was so much touched by this love and devotion that he turned himself and with his gaze the, uh, this, uh, this stone wall got broken and now we can see the uh, small window with the, yeah, with the net. Now there is a metal net there, but uh, Krishna now can see uh, his devotee and his devotee can see Krishna all day and all night. So this is kind of a lesson for us that no matter where we came from, the most important thing is what is our destination, what is our goal in life. Yeah, and I got this flower to offer to Krishna and we are going to see his darshan and please come to Udupi also, get this beautiful darshan of Krishna in Dwaraka. Uh, actually, this deity appeared uh, when Mat Mat uh, Mata Devaki, she was so upset that she couldn't enjoy the uh, Leelas of Krishna when he was a small boy. So she started to cry and asking Krishna, please tell me about your Leelas, how you played in Vrindavan, what happened there. And Krishna just appeared in front of her as a little boy and started to uh, ask her uh, foods, uh, uh, pulling her sari. Uh, so she was so happy and so uh, in ecstatic emotions. Uh, he broke the butter pot and started to eat this butter and uh, cover himself with this butter when he got uh, fed enough. And uh, Deva, um, his uh, Rukmini, his wife in Dwaraka, she passed by and she saw this beautiful picture and she was also amazed. Wow, Krishna is so, this little Krishna is so beautiful. And she asked her husband, please give me this, uh, this kind of murti that I could worship you in this form. And then uh, Krishna uh, called Vishwakarma, who is the uh, sculptor, the divine sculptor from the heavenly planets, I guess, or, or something like this. So Vishwakarma, uh, uh, went to Nepal, to Gandaki river and got the shalagram and made uh, Krishna and Balaram, this uh, small murtis, like small form of uh, Krishna and Balaram and, um, um, and they were installed in Dwaraka and uh, Rukmini worshipped them, uh, worshipped Krishna. 
Uh, and what happened next is that uh, Dwaraka, after Krishna left this world, Dwaraka went down under the ocean. And uh, uh, Madhavacharya, who is, the, who is a manifestation of the Vayu, the wind, the demigod of wind, uh, he appeared on this uh, earth and one morning he woke up and he felt some blissful mood, he felt like something Krishna will appear in front of me today. And he went to the ocean, uh, reciting his prayers and bhajans, and he saw the sheep that was uh, uh, moving toward the, le toward the earth. But uh, it seemed like this sheep gonna uh, crash over these rocks. And he started to, because he was a representative of the wind, he could uh, uh, kind of uh, use his cities and he made this happen that sheep uh, safely came to the land, landed to the, uh, like, landed safely. So when he got on this ship, because the captain was very happy that they are alive, everything is okay, he offered him, you can take anything from my ship, we have some uh, goods in our, uh, inside so you can choose whatever you want and uh, Madhavacharya said I'm Sanyasi, I'm a Vaishnava, I only need if you have Gopi Chandana and uh, the captain was happy because they had lots of Gopi Chandana inside and uh, Madhavacharya went himself to pick the uh, brick uh, of Gopi Chandana he liked and he uh, picked the biggest one and he easily uh, hold it, lift it and hold it on his he over his head and the uh, these sailors were surprised like how is possible many like group of sailors had difficulty to leave this block but he did it and uh, when he was moving toward his house or whatever he went uh, this block uh, fell apart and one part of it was uh, Balaram in this Gopichandan and Madhavacharya decided that, he, that uh, Balaram wanted to stay there and the temple should be built there, at, at that place. And he took Krishna further, and uh, he, uh, they, like, finally, he was installed here, and the temple was built. So now we can enjoy the story behind and uh, this beautiful darshan. Radhishyam, have a nice day. I love cows so much. And here in uh, this part of India, they are very small and cute. <laughs> Just different type than in Vrindavan. And it, they eat very like neatly, like very like I don't know, in a special way. <laughs> Madhavacharya and here he started to learn to study. So here some children come to get some scar for, for the future he studies and good knowledge and uh, wisdom, spiritual wisdom. First of all.
Ahaa! 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 Aha